All right, well, you can't cry because then I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm going to try. That's just going to happen. I've called them the unicorns for a long time now. <laughs> and it struck me finally after spending a week in Kauai, which is such a magical place. Why Kauai for this wedding? Well, where else would unicorns unite? <laughs> Many of you have heard the story about how Eric and Aaron came together. As their matchmaker, I have the inside scoop <laughs> that I would like to share with you today. Eric didn't see Aaron on the outside. As much as he fell into her smile, followed her laughter, all the way down into her heart where he took up residency. On Aaron's part, she didn't see Eric as much as she could feel the warmth and radiating joy welling up from inside her. And we know now that that was Eric nestled in your heart. After our first date, I could not remember what you looked like, but I could not forget your smile. What I did not know was that that smile would not only set my heart free, but to also bind our souls together forever. You know what that's uh -huh. the sound of? <laughs> the satisfied woman. That one's for Bonnie. I actually have a little Eric wasn't a teddy bear. Eric was a teddy man. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why when they parted company outside the restaurant and they had gone their separate ways, she doubles back to give him a second hug. <laughs> as mortified as I was at the time, my instincts were spot on during our first date. I know now that my giving you two hugs that night was just a sign that I wanted to hold on to you forever and will never let you go. Wow, she's gorgeous. The first time I really, it really hit me that Eric was the right partner for you was when Eric was courting you and he came up to Carson City and he took Aaron and myself and Kelsey Hardy on his plane from Carson City to Napa. And I sat in the back and I looked at the two people in the seat before me and I saw a pilot who was calm, confident, competent, and I knew I was in good hands. And then I saw the co-pilot who was vivacious, my best friend, and had stocked the most incredible in-flight bar cart I had ever seen. And I knew then that you were going to be an incredible team. <laughs> oh my I am excited to be taking flight with you on this new adventure. You are my favorite co-pilot, and not just because you make the best in-flight bar service I've ever seen. <laughs> but now, we become a flight crew together in the plane I'm the pilot. 
but in our lives, we are co-pilots. Together, we're going to have a spectacular life of adventure together. Your co-pilot has completed his checklist. Please fasten your seatbelts and be prepared for takeoff. <laughs> After Aaron and Eric met, I found this sign, and it said, never be careful of what you wish for. And I just thought, that is so perfect for Erin, because she's always had such a good sense of who she is and what she deserves. And she held out. And Eric obviously did the same, because they were both passionate and foolish and optimistic about what they both wish for. Love is composed one soul inhabiting in two bodies. I was his co-pilot and uh, we were running one of uh, the uh, before departure checklists. I decided to ask uh, Eric a little bit of a personal question. I asked uh, him, uh, have you thought about uh, searching for your other half. He just looked at me, he smiled. After seven years of my question, I, I receive a call from my friend. Eric tells me, I think I found her. So I want to introduce her to you. As soon as I saw Erin's soul, this beautiful soul. I knew it was her. So he calls us up a year and a half ago and he says, I'd like to take you to lunch. And we said, oh, wow, this is great. <laughs> we went out to lunch and so he said, um, I want to I wanna tell you my intentions, but I don't want to ask for your approval. I'm certainly not asking for her hand in marriage because she is an independent woman and she will make her own decision. Mary Ellen was sold from that minute on. Oh man, that was great how he did that. I loved your wit and how you made me laugh and the love, comfort, and protection I felt when I was with you. I now know those qualities and so many more are what make you my favorite person in the world and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Maybe give it to you now. <laughs>
I do not know when our journey began. Was it when we met? Was it when Buck and Aurora schemed over dinner with us in their hearts? Or was our destiny set in motion at the beginning of the universe? What I do know is that we 